Ave Maria, welcome again to Kato Pinoy Franciscan Simple Vesper. And today we have a feast, the Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, let us start by praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any worthless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be. World without end. Amen. <clears throat> Evening prayer 2. We will be getting the hymn from the common of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mother of Holy Home and of love everlasting, O oh, pray for us. At the dawning of time I was known by the Lord. And his command he gave to me. He chose the land where I should establish my tent. Mother of holy home and of love everlasting. Oh, pray for us. In the city of God he has given me rest. And my body he placed therein. Forevermore I shall rule the city of God. Mother of holy home and of love everlasting. Oh, pray for us. As a tree that is planted beside flowing streams. A cedar strong, lifted on high. So I took root in the holy people of God. Mother of holy home and of love everlasting. Oh, pray for us. As the odor of spice or the fragrance of balm, or choices mere is my perfume. As fragrant incense, I lift my praise to the Lord, Mother of Holy Home, and of love everlasting. O oh, pray for us. Come to me, all who yearn to be filled with my fruits, and you will yet hunger for more. For all who try me will find my memory sweet. Mother of holy hope and of love everlasting, O oh, pray for us. Of a virgin was born Jesus, Lord, whom we pray. Glory and praise be to his name. May every age call his mother holy and blessed. Mother of holy home and of love everlasting. O oh, pray for us. The antiphons is taken from the proper of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, October 7. First antiphon, the angel Gabriel brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Cantigal and Psalm from the Common of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Evening Prayer 2, from Psalm 122. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing 
within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be. World without end. Amen. First Antiphon The angel Gabriel brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Second Antiphon His mother stood beside the cross. From Psalm 127 If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early rising. You are going later to rest. <clears throat> Excuse me. You who toil for the bread you eat. When he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord. A blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. O oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antipon, His mother stood beside the cross. Third Antipon, Rejoice, O virgin mother, Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Canticle is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3 to 10. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon Rejoice, O Virgin Mother! Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia. Reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 4, verse 4 to 5. When the designated time had come, designated time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who are subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Responsory, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Response, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Response, the Lord is with you. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Canticle of Mary. Mary heard the word of God and cherished it in her heart. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones. And has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. Yet the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary Mary heard the word of God, and cherish it in her heart. Intercession will be getting from the common of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Evening Prayer 2 Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished them that Mary, his, ma his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask, response. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Response. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. You made Mary, our mother, through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners. Response salvation and peace to all you made mary full of grace response grant all men the joyful abundance of your grace make your church of one mind and one heart in love response and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with mary the mother of jesus you crowned mary queen of heaven response May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. So, brothers and sisters, let us include in this Franciscan simple vesper our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, our uh, faithful departed, and let us not forget to include our frontliners, our brothers and sisters 
affected by this pandemic. And let us pose a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Father, you called Lord, fill our hearts with your love and as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son as man. So lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, friends, and loved ones, your health, your work, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much for praying with me this uh, uh, evening prayer, Vesper of Our Lady, Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Once again, I'm your companion prayer, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise, or Father Jeremy of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate Beacon Mission. Telling you all, always remember, don't forget, smile, be happy, Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.